Hi there, my name is Jason Smith of Flintsburg Files, an online column that focuses on German-American topics, whether it's current events, tourist places, or in this case, foreign languages. And I'm going to present you with a new topic that uh, is, also, is also one that people don't really pay much attention to unless they learn the rules and stuff, and that is with singular versus plural words, be it nouns or verbs. And henceforth, we have this wonderful topic for you for, for a tongue twister. When foxes become witches and wretches become fishes. We're looking at words that have the ES ending. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Very simple. We're looking at uh, the ES forms for noun forms, for example, that are used for plural forms. So basically, words that have an endings of S, X, C, H, or an S, H, they normally have an ES ending when it's plural. And, in this, and uh, in this case here, of course, it's also voiced. So if we take a look at some of the examples here, um, the singular for which is witches. Uh, for a singular bush, it's bushes for plural. Fox in plural form is foxes and bus, buses. The same rule applies for words with Z or Z at the end. So basically, uh, some words that, that have uh, just a Z, one Z, it, it's required to have two Z's. However, all the other words that have uh, one Z, all, you can also you keep it as one Z and add the ES there. It depends on which word you're focusing. So here we have uh, one example of uh, one word that had one Z at the end, quiz. And of course, the plural form is an additional Z E S, and it's pronounced quizzes. And we do have one another word, waltz, is a type of waltz dances. And uh, there we have waltz is singular, and in plural form it's waltzes. Therefore, the Z is the same here. So for a noun form in plural, it's always, as a general rule, um, with ES at the end, if, if it's only plural that is. However, um, it's a bit different when we talk about verbs. Now, as a general rule, when we have a third person singular, it's always with S at the end. He, she, it, the S always comes with. However, there are a couple of exceptions to the rule. Um, the first exception, of course, is when you have a verb that has an O at the end, then as a third person singular, you can use ES at the end. So, for example, go as in G-O, and the plural form, uh, and the uh, third person singular form is goes. Do, D-O, for a third person singular, it's does. In uh, these two cases here, as well as a few other examples, we do not voice the ES. We just leave it as is. We just uh, follow the rules as he, she, yet the S comes with. It's a bit different if we look at the verbs that have the SH, CH, S, and Z endings on there, as well as X. And those guys here are considered voiced with, e with the ES. So basically following rules as with plural nouns. So a couple examples, we have rush, to rush to a Ketchik train, and the, and the third person singular is rushes. Box, third person singular, boxes, think of boxing. Crunch, crunches. Buzz, buzzes, think of the B. And lastly, pass and passes. You got two meanings there, so you can pass a test, the proven bestehen, so you get you get a score that's enough to for you to pass the test. Or if you pass cars on the highway, just to name a few. Or if you walk, or if you pass a, a person by, so full bike in. Now keeping those in mind here, we're going to move on to some tongue twisters. This what this exercise is a bit different than all the other tongue twisters I've I've done. In this way. Uh, what I have for tongue twisters is a set of tongue twisters that have a lot of grammatical mistakes in there. However, they do serve one purpose, and that is to practice pronouncing the S words at the end of, the, of each noun and verb. So the task for you is to do the following. I want you to practice the tongue twisters. I will read those out for you, so that way you can practice at home. And then afterwards, I want you to correct the tongue twisters to ensure that they are grammatically correct. Keeping this in mind, um, you, the answers may vary, as long as you de decide between a singular or a plural form for these exercises. 
Once you're done correcting them, you should repeat the tongue twisters with the correct form. I'm just going to pronounce the incorrect versions and it's up to you to correct them and, and uh, play them out with the correct grammar form as you see fit. With that in mind, we're going to move on to our first set. With SES. The horses in glasses loses their vases. The vases comprised of cactuses, grasses, roses, and irises from the oasis of the Joneses. The Joneses produces gases of corpses that exposes the asses of in the grasses, who curses to the incenses of the corpses' gases. The horses in glasses refuses to lose their vases and buses, their arses to their Joneses with hoses. The gases eases, the horses closes the Joneses' houses. The horses and glasses releases the Joneses to the nurses who rinses their arses with hoses of water and bruises them with their purses. Now the horses and glasses possesses their vases again. Keep in mind that Joneses is actually a family name and uh, ass is actually a, another name for a donkey or a mule. So keep that in mind. An arse is basically the same as uh, your buttocks and it's British English. Okay, moving on to the next one. With XES. Sixes, foxes, fixes, boxes. The foxes fixes soap boxes, coal boxes, fire boxes, ice boxes, and juke boxes. Sixes, lynxes, waxes with bees waxes. The lynxes, waxes, the wood waxes, pack waxes, and fruit waxes with sugar waxes made from bees waxes. Their exes taxes the foxes and lynxes, and now they axes them with cow poxes, chicken poxes, and small poxes, and the waxes and boxes they nixes. Next set, we have two with ZES. How you, how you decide uh, what to use for tongue twisters depends on you as a student or as a teacher. We're going to start with our top half. Whoever digitizes the wizards and robotizes them. Whoever ionizes the quartzes, unfreezes and canalizes them. Whoever privatizes and organizes state, raises and banalizes it and mobilizes those who vocalizes for and equalizes the people. Whoever democratizes the state, focalizes on it and energizes them. Then we have the bottom half. Whoever oversizes the prizes, picturizes the sizes, it modernizes, but supersizes those who ostracize those who undersizes and sensitizes the prizes. Whoever oversizes the prizes, dramatizes those he authorizes to oversizes the prizes. Then we have C-H-E-S and one note um, with the word bitch. Um, bitch in this case means the same as complain. In German, jammern. And this applies to the first half. Three witches with watches, bitches on the porches. One of the witches, bitches on the couches. One of the witches, bitches on the benches. And one of the witches watches the two witches who bitches over their hotches, butterscotches, they torches. Butterscotch is a type of candy, by the way. Bottom half. He reaches for the peaches. The peaches are on the arches. The arches are on the beaches. The roaches he clenches the peaches on the arches, and he marches to the birches full of witches. Then we have the S H E S, the shiz. Again, we have uh, the name Josh, and of course we do have the plural form, which is Josh's. Seven Josh's fishes for fishes. The fishes splashes near the bushes. The seven Josh's dashes to the bushes. They smashes the bushes with brushes. The fishes dashes away from the bushes. The fishes refreshes and ambushes the jo Josh's. The Josh's crashes into the mushes, and now the fishes punishes the Josh's with varnishes and trashes from the mushes. And last but not least, the mixed form. The foxes play catches with radishes in the churches. The foxes rushes from boxes to benches and fetches the radishes. The foxes catches the radishes in dishes full of grasses and mosses. The witches made the grasses and mosses in dishes, and now the witches watches the foxes with the radishes as they toss the dishes with grasses and foxes into the marshes full of fishes, larches, and walruses. 
Okay, I hope this all helps here. And like I said, um, for these, you should also try and correct those and then read them out to you, to yourselves or to the rest of the gr uh, group, depending on the situation, uh, with the correct German, that uh, with the correct English sentences. Okay, this is Jason Smith of the Flensburg Files. I wish you a nice day, and we move on to our next topic. Take care. Bye-bye.